There are skids, there are slides, and then there is the downhill run of Jack's sock. This is not a slump. It's a slump that's grown legs and a tail. Sock started last year as the top rank American, newly minted in the top 10, and then the decline. After starting 2018 with a single digit ranking, he ended it with a triple digit ranking. He tried to regroup and recoup in the off season, but 2019 hasn't started any kinder. In the first round of the Australian Open, he drew a local wild card and went down in four sets. Then a snowboarding accident that will sideline him at least into the spring. He has, it must be noted, fared better in doubles. A paired sock, as it were. He joined Mike Bryan and won both Wimbledon and the US Open last year. In doubles, Sock could display his forehand, his athleticism, and his crisp net play. And unlike in singles, he had a partner to absorb pressure and persist through the lapses. But to Sock, this is all cold comfort. He recently told the New York Times, quote, if I'm not relevant in the singles world and my only choice is to play doubles, I'd probably stop playing tennis. So how do you jumpstart a tennis career? What do you do when you're 26, notionally the prime of a career, and suddenly struggling to win matches? For Sock, that's the challenge. If tennis is cruel this way, it can also be a source of inspiration. Sock can look to Andre Agassi, whose ranking fell to number 141, and then he returned to win more majors. More recently, and more reasonably, Jeannie Bouchard was once in the top 10. She, too, fell out of the top 100, and now she's quietly building back. Tennis, for better or worse, is the ultimate sports meritocracy. Win, and your ranking goes up. Lose, and it goes down. Win enough and great things come your way. Lose enough and you confront a time of real reckoning.